Now we are looking at uh, module three of business creation and uh, growth, which is the sources of business uh, funding, sources of fund for the business. You know, when we are talking about uh, business plans and writing business plan, we say that money is not the first thing to look up, look at, look out for. Uh, the same way we say that if you have money without business plan, without business opportunity, without searching for the right opportunity, that uh, you, are, you are not doing any work, that your business can just fly away. In the same manner, if you have a wonderful plan for execution and you don't have money for funding your business, it's the, the same tragedy. So the unit one of this model is looking at the internal and the external sources of funds. The, all businesses require money. In fact, the way things are going now, everything you do require money. So where is the money coming from? That's what is called sources of finance. Which source? Do you pick them on the road? Do you pluck them on trees? Where will this money come from? These are the sources of fund. Now we are going to look at two different sources of finance. Some are internal to the business and some are external to the business. If we look at the internal sources of fund, our first is the the founders finances the person some people may save money towards finance, uh, financing of their business so the founder can have money from sources it can be from family or if he had been working he may have been working and saving money he can have from friends members of his family or if it is uh, for business expansion, internal sources include retained profit. That is, when you do the business, you are doing the business already, and you have made a profit in your business. So instead of taking the entire profit to uh, spend or squander, you leave some of them to add them to your equity funding. So there, these are the internal sources of uh, fund then you have the external sources of fund that's the funds that are coming from outside of the business it can be bank load bank overdraft you have people they call angel investors these are not part of the business they see your business see your business plan see the blueprint of your business and it's something that is uh, viable if it's something that is practicable they will decide to invest in that business they don't interfere with what you are doing angel investor in fact there is even venture capitalists the difference between venture uh, angel investors and venture capitalists because to, both of them are coming from outside they are not part of the business, but they look at it, they see it's a viable business. They decide to put their resources together. The, the business angels or angel investors, when they put this money, they don't interfere with the working of the business. But the venture capitalist will want to know what is going on in business. He can be part of the business if he wants, but uh, he doesn't invest his money and uh, go and sleep but the angel investor if you ask me i will say they are sleeping partners of the business those who don't come they are not part of the management of the operation but they just invest their money and go home and they uh, pray for the good outcome sometimes they pay them some money uh, depending on the agreement then you have loans and grants government they give grants foundations give grants and uh, international organizations they give grants because they believe in what uh, you are doing 
In conclusion, therefore, you say that new businesses, starting up businesses, they need money. Why do they need money? They need money for investment. Because uh, apart from uh, the little money they have galvanized, uh, they need money even for expansion. Even because they have a lot of things that business uh, needs. Those that are formally art articulated and even the ones under the table. Then they need money for long-term assets as well. Like buildings. They need money for to buy equipment. They uh, need money for their office infrastructure. Then they need operational money. Those are the type of things we are talking about, cash flow, the operational fund. They need cash to purchase material, maybe raw materials or what they need to prepare their products or services. These, uh, these ones, you know, they need this money on regular basis. It's a regular occurrence. It's for the operation of the business. They still need money to pay salaries and wages of the employees. They need money to pay for electricity, even when electricity is not uh, working out. Uh, in Nigeria, you have to pay for it, you know, that's what they say. Even when the electricity, you are in blackout, you need to pay electricity. If you don't pay, they will come and remove uh, your meter and all that things. So you have to pay. Give them so that you do your business. If you have any complaint, you don't fight with people. You report, you take legal action. You know what I was saying about the uh, legal legality of bigness that if you are legal, if you are doing everything under the law, the law will protect you. If your business is um, under the law, like you have uh, you have been paying this electricity bill and you are not having light, you can report and see what happens. In that uh, in that regard so we'll stop here for now that uh, business require money business require money and the business uh, uh, the entrepreneur himself should work out the sources of funds before even taking off the business in the first instance we'll stop here bye